BrainWise Presence. Primary 4. Science Quiz B. Part 2. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today we're exploring the wonders of science together with 20 awesome questions. Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go! Number 1. What part of a plant is primarily responsible for absorbing water and nutrients from the soil? Again, what part of a plant is primarily responsible for absorbing water and nutrients from the soil? The choices are A. The flower B. The leaves C. The stem D. The roots The correct answer is D. The roots the roots anchor the plant and have a large surface area with root hairs designed specifically to absorb water and dissolve nutrients from the soil. Number 2. The thin, outermost layer of the earth is the blank. Again, the thin, outermost layer of the earth is the blank. The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Core D. Atmosphere The correct answer is A. Crust. We live on the crust, which is the solid, rocky outer layer of our planet. It is the thinnest of all the layers. Number 3. You see a flash of lightning, and a few seconds later, you hear the thunder. Why does this happen? Again. You see a flash of lightning, and a few seconds later, you hear the thunder. Why does this happen? The choices are A. Thunder is always delayed. B. Light travels much faster than sound. C. Sound travels much faster than light. D. Your ears are slower than your eyes. The correct answer is B. Light travels much faster than sound. Light travels almost instantly to your eyes, while sound travels much more slowly through the air. So you hear the thunder after you see the lightning that caused it. Number 4. The Richter scale is used to measure the magnitude or strength of an blank. Again, the Richter scale is used to measure the magnitude or strength of an blank. The choices are A. Earthquake B. Typhoon C. Volcanic eruption D. Eclipse The correct answer is A. Earthquake The Richter scale measures the amount of energy released by an earthquake with higher numbers indicating a stronger and more destructive quake. Number 5 some animals survive the cold winter by entering a deep, long sleep. This adaptation is called blank. Again, some animals survive the cold winter by entering a deep, long sleep. This adaptation is called blank. The choices are A. Migration B. Hibernation C. Camouflage D. Estivation The correct answer is B. Hibernation Hibernation is a state of inactivity and metabolic depression in animals during winter, allowing them to conserve energy when food is scarce. Number 6. In a food chain, what do you call an organism that eats only plants? Again, in a food chain, what do you call an organism that eats only plants? The choices are A. Carnivore B. Omnivore C. Herbivore. D. Producer. The correct answer is C. Herbivore. Herbivores are animals that are adapted to eat only plants. The prefix herbi means plant. Number 7. What is the innermost layer of the earth called? Again. 
What is the innermost layer of the Earth called? The choices are A. Crust B. Mantle C. Outer core D. Inner core The correct answer is Deed inner core. The Earth is made of four main layers. From the outside in, they are the crust, mantle, outer core, and the very center is the inner core. Number 8. A lizard changes its skin color to blend in with a tree trunk. What is this adaptation called? Again. A lizard changes its skin color to blend in with a tree trunk. What is this adaptation called? The choices are A. Hibernation B. Migration C. Camouflage D. Communication The correct answer is C. Camouflage Camouflage is an adaptation that allows animals to blend in with their surroundings to hide from predators or prey. Number 9. Which of these materials would create the darkest shadow? Again. Which of these materials would create the darkest shadow? The choices are A. A clear glass window B. A piece of wax paper C. A thick wooden block D. A glass of water The correct answer is C. The thick wooden block. Opaque objects, like a wooden block, block all light from passing through, creating the darkest and sharpest shadows. Number 10. Which human activity contributes most to air pollution? Again. Which human activity contributes most to air pollution? The choices are A. Planting trees B. Riding a bicycle C. Burning fossil fuels like in cars and factories. D. Recycling paper. The correct answer is C. Burning fossil fuels like in cars and factories. Burning fossil fuels coal, oil, and natural gas releases harmful gases and pollutants into the atmosphere causing air pollution. Great work so far! You're halfway to becoming a science whiz! Ready for the next questions? You've got this! Number 11. A large, rotating storm system with strong winds that forms over warm ocean waters is called a blank. Again. A large, rotating storm system with strong winds that forms over warm ocean waters is called a blank. The choices are A. Tornado B. Typhoon C. Earthquake D. Tsunami The correct answer is B. Typhoon a typhoon, also known as a hurricane or cyclone in other parts of the world, is a powerful tropical storm that brings heavy rain and high winds. Number 12. The movement of hot air rising and cool air sinking in a room is an example of heat transfer by blank. Again, the movement of hot air rising and cool air sinking in a room is an example of heat transfer by blank. The choices are A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Reflection The correct answer is B. Convection Convection is the transfer of heat through the movement of fluids, liquids, or gases. Hot air is less dense and rises, while cooler, denser air sinks. Number 13. A fish has gills to help it survive. What is the main function of gills? Again. A fish has gills to help it survive. What is the main function of gills? The choices are A. To help it swim faster B. 
to help it see in dark water. C. To take in oxygen from the water. D. To keep it warm. The correct answer is C. To take in oxygen from the water. Gills are a special adaptation that allows fish and other aquatic animals to breathe by extracting dissolved oxygen directly from the water. Number 14. Which of the following represents an energy transformation from electrical energy to light and heat energy? Again, which of the following represents an energy transformation from electrical energy to light and heat energy? The choices are A. A plant growing in the sun B. A person running a race C. A light bulb being switched on D. A drum being played The correct answer is C. A light bulb being switched on When you switch on a light bulb Electricity, electrical energy flows through it, causing it to glow, light energy, and get hot, heat energy. Number 15. What kind of pollution is caused by throwing plastic bottles and candy wrappers on the ground? Again, what kind of pollution is caused by throwing plastic bottles and candy wrappers on the ground? The choices are A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Land pollution D. Noise pollution. The correct answer is C. Land pollution. Disposing of garbage improperly on the ground is a form of land pollution which can harm soil and wildlife. Number 16. What form of energy is stored in a battery? Again, what form of energy is stored in a battery? The choices are A. Light energy B. Heat energy C. Sound energy D. Chemical energy The correct answer is D. Chemical energy Batteries store energy in a chemical form. When you use the battery, a chemical reaction occurs that releases this stored energy as electrical energy. Number 17. In a dark forest, a firefly produces its own light to attract a mate. This is an example of energy being transformed from blank to blank. Again, in a dark forest, a firefly produces its own light to attract a mate. This is an example of energy being transformed from blank to blank. The choices are A. Chemical to light B. Light to heat C. Electrical to sound D. Kinetic to potential The correct answer is A. Chemical to light Fireflies use a chemical reaction inside their bodies to produce light, a process called bioluminescence. This is a transformation from chemical energy to light energy. 18. Which of the following is an example of a decomposer? Again, which of the following is an example of a decomposer? The choices are A. A rose bush B. A rabbit C. A worm D. A hawk The correct answer is C. A. Worm Worms are decomposers because they break down dead organic matter, like fallen leaves, and return nutrients to the soil. Number 19 When a solid changes directly into a gas without becoming a liquid first, like dry ice turning into vapor, it is called blank. Again, when a solid changes directly into a gas without becoming a liquid first, like dry ice turning into vapor, it is called blank. The choices are A. Melting B. Freezing C. Sublimation D. Condensation The 
The correct answer is C. Sublimation Sublimation is the unique phase transition where a substance goes straight from a solid to a gas state. Number 20. Which of these is a non-renewable resource, meaning it cannot be replaced in our lifetime? Again, which of these is a non-renewable resource, meaning it cannot be replaced in our lifetime? The choices are A. Sunlight B. Wind C. Trees D. Coal The correct answer is D. Coal. Coal, along with oil and natural gas, is a fossil fuel. It took millions of years to form, and we are using it up much faster than it can be replaced. Fantastic job! You completed the science quiz. Give yourself a big round of applause. Comment your score and keep exploring the world of science. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun. Check out other videos from BrainWise.